Okay, let's talk about vacations. You remember vacations, right? Well, the next time you get to go on a vacation, let's make sure you can relax, explore, and come home feeling energized. So my first tip for vacations is try to get a kitchen if possible. Even if you don't want to cook every meal, eating three times a day in a restaurant, not only will it cost you lots of money, but you'll likely eat more. You'll definitely get more sodium and less fiber. So even if you just make breakfast and keep snacks in your kitchen, you'll still be better off. It also makes it easier to kind of linger and visit with friends and family, especially if there are kids around. A place with a kitchen just makes eating a little bit easier. If you do rent an Airbnb or a VRBO or something with a kitchen, you might think about making a meal plan before you leave home. And I've put some question marks there because I know that's not for everybody. Um, But I want to suggest doing something even very simple where you think about two or three or four things for every week that you're there that you'd like to cook. Leave some room for spontaneity, right? You don't want to plan every meal, but some ingredients are just easier to bring than to buy, depending on where you're going. Obviously, if you're traveling abroad, it's harder to bring food, but if you're just going to your local mountains or you're going somewhere that's a short drive, you may find things like nuts or quinoa or spices are easier to pack up and bring from home than to have to go buy small quantities at a grocery store. So just thinking ahead about some of the basic things you want to make can facilitate that and make it so that when you get there, you can kind of relax and you don't have to get to the grocery store and kind of look around saying, okay, what should I pick up here? What do I need? So if you do that, you might even want to bring some recipes and you don't want to lug your cookbooks. Just take a quick photo with your phone if you don't have them already somewhere online. And just like we made a go-to list last week, if you get further along in your meal planning efforts, you might even want to start a go-to vacation food list. Foods that have few ingredients. You don't want to cook something with 12 ingredients when you're on vacation. So simple, few ingredients, little hands-on work. You don't want to spend a lot of time cooking when you're on vacation, right? So this might be as simple as cracking open a jar of spaghetti sauce and cooking up some spaghetti noodles and maybe buying a salad in a jar. I know that's not fancy, but if you want to save money and eat a little bit healthier than you would in a restaurant, that's a very simple option for something you can make on vacation. Black bean quesadillas, one of my kind of favorite go-to foods for simple meals. Can of black beans, some cheddar cheese, tortillas, have some raw vegetables or a little salad to go with that, and you've got a great little simple meal. So what if it's not in the cards to rent a place with a kitchen? You'll usually still have a small fridge if you have a hotel room. So pull out those overpriced drinks that you probably aren't going to have anyways and fill that thing up with things like individually wrapped cheese, yogurt, apples, oranges, maybe some hard cooked eggs. You can often buy those in the grocery store in little uh, vacuum sealed packs or things that don't have to be refrigerated. You can bring along some nuts and you can put them in your oatmeal in the morning for a bit of extra protein and healthy fat or you can bring them along for a snack. And speaking of oatmeal, this is an example of a time where you might use an oatmeal packet because you can put it into a coffee cup, add some boiling water, and you've got a good nourishing little breakfast without having to go to the restaurant. And finally, when you're traveling, you'll probably eat in some restaurants. So just a few quick tips about restaurant eating. As always, think back to that balanced plate model and look for plant foods on the menu. Vegetables, of course, but if you can find them, also whole grains, Like some coffee shops have oatmeal or things like quinoa in a salad. Look for whole grains or nuts and seeds and lentils and black beans, chickpeas. These plant-based foods are a lot more prevalent on the menus these days. Or fish. Not everybody's great at cooking fish. So if you go out and you, you can eat fish and you like to eat fish, going to a restaurant is a great chance to eat fish. Watch the portion sizes. Usually in restaurants, they're giving us about twice as much as an older adult will need. So see if you can split a meal with someone you're dining with or ask for a lunch size or a half order. Some restaurants will do that for you. Or if not, see if they'll box up half the food before they even bring it to you. Makes it a lot easier to resist overeating. And another thing I often suggest doing when you go out to restaurants is just ask them to give you half the grains, whether it's rice, pasta, or even bread. Restaurants like to give you lots of grains because they're inexpensive, they fill you up, and they make a happy customer, but they don't make a particularly healthy customer. So ask them if you can have half the grains 
and then you'll just automatically eat less. And many restaurants will give you extra vegetables for free if you ask for that in exchange for that half order of grains. So one final tip about restaurant eating, and this is not for everyone, but I do like to suggest looking for vegetarian restaurants when you're traveling. Even if you don't want to eat vegetarian all the time, or even if you don't want to have a single meal that's vegetarian, looking for a restaurant that has some vegetarian items on the menu, you'll usually find a restaurant that knows what to do with vegetables and has lots of those whole plant-based foods on the menu. So a quick tutorial on how to find a vegetarian restaurant. Of course, you can search or you can ask around, but I've also had pretty good luck with this app, TripAdvisor. When you open the app, it'll ask if you want to find hotels, sites, or restaurants. So you select restaurants, of course. And if you're looking for restaurants nearby, you'll get a list like this. And you can see down at the bottom of the screen, there'll be a little spot where you can filter the restaurants. So click that and you'll get the filter list like this. And what I suggest people do is go under dietary restrictions and look for the item that says vegan options. And that kind of a restaurant that offers vegan options will usually do a pretty good job with vegetables and other more heart healthier foods. If you want to try a vegetarian meal, that would be even better because usually they're really good at cooking things like tofu and lentils and beans. But if not, they'll still probably have great salads and some really nice vegetable bowls and stir fries in a restaurant that offers some vegan options. And another tip, by the way, you can't see it on this screen, but TripAdvisor also has a star system and you want to narrow this thing down, at least I usually do, to restaurants that have four stars or more from customer reviews so that you get the best restaurants when you're traveling. Okay, and I wish you many happy travels in the years ahead and great food is part of that.